Attention, Maverick Commander. Your mission is to insert a combat squad of four troopers and then to conduct a search and destroy operation. A raiding party of Dalat Commandos struck the Fleet Transit Maintenance Complex on Region 3. It appears that the human population was not able to hold them off. The enemy has occupied all our assets and established a defensive perimeter around the entire planet. The Dalat Commandos now hold the surviving human population as prisoners. They will use these captives to refine biological toxins specifically coded to attack human DNA. Your primary objective is to locate the prisoners and liberate them from captivity. Focus on scientific or experimental resources as choice targets of opportunity for this mission. Further strategic and mapping details are available through your briefing interface. Good luck. Advanced training in life eradication has left the subject with severe side effects. Crazy side effects like I just want to kill everybody in this damn room. The subject displayed continual outbursts of authority defiance. I tell you what, I make you a deal. You send me down there all by myself, no backup, no comm link, nothing. All you do is point me in the direction of the enemy and get the hell out of my way. The subject displays violent behavior possibly due to reduction of his neural rehab chips. Hell yeah, Bobby. Sometime I just want to go inside my skull and claw those chips out. And then I just want to pour it on like there's no tomorrow. Kill everything in sight. Then I just want to stand there and close my eyes and just smell. No visible enemy. That doesn't mean a damn thing. Someone's in here. Continuing to head east is ordered. The door appears to be unlocked. I can see the enemy to the south. Attention, Maverick Commander. Your mission is to insert a combat squad of four troopers 
and then to conduct a search and destroy operation. Attention, Maverick Assault Commander. You and your squad of four troopers are to conduct a reconnaissance mission, which also encompasses a search and destroy operation. A raiding party of Olo warriors has ambushed our territorial perimeter outpost on Telenoid 4. Your sole objective is to discover the extent of enemy operations and destroy all troops and equipment as you locate them. The Olo troops are under a kamikaze directive and will seek out and destroy all human life until we terminate them. In addition, our orbit around the telenoids is extremely unstable. Pay close attention to the time. The mission must be completed within the announced time limit. Attention, Maverick Assault Commander. You and your squad of four troopers are to con Lock on to NAVCOM. Monitor for intruder probes. Confirm. We're between them and the planet. They don't know we're here yet. Oh. Attention, Maverick Dropship Team. This is the Commander. We have positive confirmation that hostiles are in control down there. Attention, Maverick Assault Commander. You and your squad of four troopers. Attention, Maverick Assault Commander. You and your squad of four. Attention, Ma Advanced training in life eradication has left the subject with severe side effects.
Subject discussed feelings regarding authority figures. I'll tell you, I've been up against these monkey humpers before. And I'll tell you, I hate them. In fact, I'd rather kill these ugly suckers than eat a bunch of salty peanuts. But next time, I'm doing it my way. I'm sick and tired of taking the orders from this anthropanthologist who would know a firefight from a French war house. I don't mind putting my ass in line, but when I do, I want to be the one calling the shots. Subject was asked his feelings about the use of deadly force against other species. I believe that this force is just a force is just a if it's one of us or one of our allies who are being threatened by aggression. Sometimes I think growing up on an agricultural colony has given me a certain appreciation for other forms of life. I think it's a mistake to judge another species by human standards. What they do might not make sense to us, but it makes sense to them. We don't know what they feel, but I'm sure they feel something. In this session, the well, subject actually, was prompted really to verbalize his assets. Okay, stamina and marksmanship, those are important. And I rate high up there on the charts for both of them. But there are qualities that the other members have. Combat engagement apprehension was also displayed. Actually, it's not that I don't want to go on a combat mission. I mean, if I thought I could do the best job, no quadruped could hold me back. But I just think that there are other personnel more suited for the job. When questioned about the willingness to fight, the subject responded, Yeah, I'm willing to fight. But nobody's ever said I've held back on anything. I'm not a coward, you know. The subject was asked why he had volunteered for Varuna's forces. Oh, what patriotism! You can just put that down in the file. Why do you suppose well, they send us out in such small combat groups? I'll tell you why. Because it's easier to do a cleanup of a small group. You want to know what I heard? It's artifacts. Relics. So, somebody dug up one of those ancient temples out there, or, or maybe a wreck, whatever. Some, some kind of ancient civilization. Oh, treasures beyond belief. Oh man, there is money to be made out here. Oh, and I'm the guy to do it. subject was asked if her feelings about regeneration affected her fighting ability. Absolutely not. I simply attempt to contribute to the best of my ability. And I happen to be damn good at strategic planning. I'm the best. You don't need to be the best shot if you're able to get the drop on the enemy, do you? I'm the fastest and I use my brain. I'm a ghost. Some of those slime balls don't even know I'm there before they feel the pain of my weapon. I can analyze the situation and put myself in the best tactical position to achieve the highest body count.
Subject Michaela was asked why she had volunteered for a assignment to a combat intensive unit. I object to the inherent gender bias in that question. And as a matter of fact, hmm. when it comes to using your brains, I've got a monopoly on that asset. At least in this unit. Get me near their source of information. Get me near their power and I... I can change the galaxy. Subject was asked to discuss his feelings regarding non-human races. They ain't human. I believe it's a rightful mission of mankind to rid the entire system free of evil. The human race cannot share the universe with their kind. They're unclean and bear the mark of the beast. I come from a long line of fighters. There's always been a Carson on the frontier. And there ain't no sin in slaughtering the spawn of evil. That's how my folks raised me. That's how I believe. You want to know the truth? The human race has been plenty of problems right inside its own backyard. We need to stop letting our values and our cultures get pushed aside by alien tribes and breeds. Attention. 